Westminster, and thank you very much, my good man, for joining us in the studio today. How are you, sir? Good evening. Good. Very well. Lovely to see you again. I know we spoke a few months ago on this, but it's kind of this issue is has reared its head again. I want to keep Kalki in the studio as well because you're a, you're a political animal, Kalki, so, you know, might as well have a, have a good chat about this. Where do you stand on the issue of anonymity for people who are just accused of sexual offences? Yes, I believe that there should be anonymity up to charge. OK. That's the important thing. Okay. I was never charged or arrested. However, on the day of my search, within an hour, of 20 police officers coming into my home for 15 mm. hours in a search which we now know is illegal. Mm. I know it's illegal because the Richard Enriquez, the chap, who, the retired High Court judge who considered these matters, uh, declared them to be illegal. And the district judge who granted the search warrants uh, said that the police lied to him to get the search warrants. Agreed. So the, the search warrants were, were um, illegal. Mm. But within an hour of them coming into my home, it's... the family liaison officer for Mr Carl Beach, yes. the star witness for the Metropolitan Police under Operation Midland, um, had telephoned him to say that he was in my house searching it. What? Carl Beach was uh, uh, himself... Uh, very close mm. with Exaro, with journalists, the Metropolitan Police knew that, and he was also very close with the Home Affairs correspondent of the BBC, Tom Simons, mm. who showed him pictures of children that I was supposed to have murdered. Good grief. And that got into the press in a big way, obviously, in a massive way. How did that feel? Well, it wasn't so much the feel but the actuality mm. of losing my job, my home, uh, my repute, mm. virtually everything. Did you find that most people believed the report without talking to you, just naturally? Well, the Metropolitan Police had held a press conference three months earlier to the search of my home mm. when their superintendent went on television and radio and said that Carl Beach, he wasn't referred to as Carl Beach, he had anonymity, so he was referred oh, to really? as Nick, <laughs> that Nick was credible and true, which meant that the people who he had accused of doing things were guilty.